Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Reupon Horizons. I am going to show you in this video how to put together what we call a boundary survey report. So I've already done a, a video, one or two videos on a, how, to, how we put together a control survey report. So this tells you how we do a boundary survey report. Surveyor reports are really important. I believe they're really important, good technical documentation. A lot of other professions are really good about technical documentation. Land surveyors, not so much. <laughs> so we're trying to break the mold here at Redefine Horizons and do a little better job on our technical documentation. And the boundary survey report is really important uh, for a couple different reasons. Uh, it helps you communicate uh, information about your survey to your client. And it also helps you communicate information to your future self. Uh, if you got to come back and look at a job, a boundary survey that you did a few years ago. So I've already started this. So I went ahead and updated the header and the title here with the information for this project that I worked on in Roseville. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and, and start working on this thing. So here's the table of contents, identification of the subject parcels, then we go over the deeds, the filed survey maps, any other maps, talk about our field surveys, uh, then we talk about our boundary resolution, um, then we have some just some appendixes about where we did our research, what the tax assessor record shows, information in the tower report, that kind of stuff. Okay. So the very first section we have here is identification of the subject parcels. Uh, that seems like it should be obvious but is actually sometimes confusing <laughs> so for example uh, on this survey my parcel didn't have an address so we're going to say uh, the subject parcel for this boundary survey is identified as and i'm actually in placer county so placer county and let's just pull up that survey we'll pull that survey up so we can get the APN. All right, so our APN is uh, 023 200 Okay, it has No assigned street address, but was identified as 8500 Baseline Road for the purposes of our survey. So land surveyors can just assign addresses to parcels that don't have them. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> that was a joke, uh, but we actually did that. I called it 8500 Baseline Road just based on the adjacent addresses. All right, then we get down here. This is an important part, uh, the, the deed, so vesting deed. So we, we've got some, we want to put in some information on our vesting deed, so let's go ahead and pull that up. Okay, and I'm just going to pull this to the other side here so I can type in some information. Okay, so the subject parcel vesting deed was recorded on... September 27th, 2019, as document number 2019. Whoop. 0074432. Uh, and it was a grant deed from uh, Umpqua. Bank and Oregon State Chartered Bank to Placer Vineyards 12 A 196 LLC, a California Limited Liability Company. So then uh, we talk a little bit about what's in the grant deed. So the grant deed land description 
is a lot in block description that references parcel 2 of PN. I should spell it out on uh, a parcel map 32 007. Okay, so the adjoiner deed, uh, so we have, let's see how many adjoiners we had. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine adjoiners. Okay. So the subject parcel has Nine adjoiner deeds, two adjoiners on the east side, one adjoiner on the south side, two adjoiners on the west side, and four adjoiners north side. I'm just going to make a note. The north boundary of the parcel also runs along Baseline Road, a public county road right of way based on our review of the road deed, the road right of way. Baseline road is held as an easement, not a fee parcel. Okay, so that's important um, because a lot of people will mistake the north adjoiner as the road, but in this case, and it would be if it was a fee right away, but it's not. It's a, an easement. So the, the actually the parcels across the street are actually the adjoiners. So we just make a note of that. Easement deeds, I uh, just say, hey, the easement deeds are described in the preliminary land title report analysis sheet, uh, so I don't go into detail about those there. Okay, so that that's, um, so we're going to, um, we should probably add a little bit of information about the deed, the adjoiner deeds. So let's just do that. Um, so I like to start at the northwest corner and work my, work my way clockwise, so we'll say east adjoiners. Okay, and then we're just going to describe the east adjoiners. So let's pull this up. Okay, so we've got the lands of BHT Northern Cal 1 LLC. Oh. The lands of Northern Cal. Can't remember that name, guys. Sorry, Northern Cal One LLC. Are described in the. Then we're gonna go get that uh, information about the grant deed. Okay, so this is in 2010-155. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to pull that over here where I can see it. Okay, so described in the grant deed from FB Holdings, a Missouri limited liability company to PHT. Two Northern Cal One LLC Delaware Limited Liability Company. Okay, and then we're going to say Grant D was recorded on December twenty ninth. 2010 
add document number 2010-010-9155. Okay, and then um, we want to just make a note, give a, give a brief description of the land description. So our joiner parcel is parcel 2 of the grant deed. Parcel 2 is a public land survey system parcel, aliquot parcel, described as the east half of section 3. Okay, so we're just trying to give the, the reviewing surveyor an idea of what he's dealing with without having to pull up the actual dock. Okay, I'm just going to do one more. I'm not going to make you guys sit through these, all of them. So let's go look at our... Um, sorry, I keep having trouble with these windows. Let's go look at our next deed. So uh, our next one is this 2020-991. Okay, so that's this deed here. Northeast quarter section 10. Okay, so we're going to say the lands of the Stathos Family Trust are described in a grant deed from Frank G. Stathos to Frank Greg Stathos and Patty. Lynn Stathos as co trustees of the Stathos Living Trust. Okay, and then the grant deed. So this was a grant deed. Let's make sure. Yep, trust transfer grant deed. So the trust transfer grant deed. Recorded on July 9th, 2020, as document number 2020-0068991. Our joiner parcel is uh, a PLSS parcel, aliquot parcel. Described as, oops, sorry guys, described as the northeast one quarter of section 10. Okay, so then I will go ahead and, and do that same thing here for the south adjoiner. The west adjoiners, there are two, and the north adjoiners, there are four. And I'm not going to make you guys sit through all that, uh, but I will fill it out. Okay, and then the, the next section we'll do, we'll pick this up in the next videos. We'll go in and we'll do the uh, field survey map, or file survey maps. Okay, alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video on our boundary survey report.